welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, whichever one it may be. And if you are new here, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things, and let me know what you think. I'm um, currently back to my like old setup right now of tripod and cell phone, and sitting out in the, the living room because we're doing some work on the house and it's just kind of a mess <laughs> right now. And I started a new job, so life's just kind of a mess right now. So, anyway, I thought I would just kind of do a quick video, a little bit of an update of things that are going on. Um, and yeah, just kind of show the canvases I'm currently working on. I think I may have like bit off a bit more than I can chew as far as that goes, but then We'll see how it goes. I still have to get adjusted to my new work schedule. But anyway, let's kind of get started in this. So this is my M is for March kit. I never wrote the date on this. I'll do that later. M is for March kit. I'm using the Elizabeth Ward style, um, what do you call this? Storage. And um, it doesn't fit because these for it five are sitting right here honestly like I just have been keeping those five with it instead of putting them in a separate container all together because it's just so much easier to do that rather than carrying around two containers I only have to do one I uh, did decorate my storage container I know I saw somebody else do this too and then I saw I looked at mine and I'm like yeah this is this is totally <laughs> girly I guess um or rather I don't know what you call it anyway you got Stitch you got Alice you got unicorns you got these jars like I, I used a bunch of my stickers and just decorated it but yeah so that's what so this is the M is for March canvas and I'm working on magic in the moonlight I'll go ahead and put this up here I'm gonna put these up here too and here it is magic in the moonlight now i haven't done that much on it because honestly the first day of work because technically today i'm supposed to be here if i had been working on it every single day so this was the day before i started working my first day of work and then this would have been my second third and fourth day of work and as you can see nothing happened <laughs> i have not worked on this diamond painting in five days and yeah i should be technically finishing it if i had stuck to my one section a day i'm gonna do as much as i can today because i'm off today and then my schedule's really not gonna be that bad i think once i like get into it it's just currently I was waking up at three o'clock in the morning and I flipped my schedule to just be more awake at night. So it kind of threw me through a loop having to wake up bright and early in the morning. So I've just been exhausted <laughs> and that's why nothing's got done. But anyway, uh, I'm almost done with this section and it shouldn't take too, too much longer to finish this section. I'm going to see how far I get on this. But let's move on to the next canvases. <laughs> move that out of the way and look at my purple table with the stain on it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But anyway, my, out of the way, I've been doing my Disney 100 book again over on TikTok. I just do short little, you know, TikTok shorts of the book. And I've just been working on filling up the book a little bit more. Mostly I've ended up in the back, I think, because I'm just grabbing. So I did finish another page. I think I posted a short on YouTube. I'm not sure what I've done. I can't remember what, like where I've been or what I've done, but these have been pretty easy to do. Like I just do one of these a night and I can post a quick short on it and they're pretty quick and easy to do. They don't take long. And yeah, it's mostly been towards the back of the book. Why does this like look all raggedy? Oh, maybe it's supposed to look that way. Just doesn't look right. And I have to fix it. I forgot about that. 
Beautiful. I only have it open and on Finn. I had to fix him. <laughs> I saw it in the short and I was like, oh, I have to fix that. But anyway, yeah, so I've been working on this again and posting the shorts on it. And um, it's, it's coming along pretty good. I think I have these two for this page. And then this page, I think I have this one. I think I have those. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> what I have. I know I have like a bunch. I have all of these guys. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I have Donald, but I do have the others for sure. And then this page, I don't have Rabbit. I know that, but I have the others. Um, and this page, I don't think I have Cruella. And I know I don't have the Queen of Hearts, because, yeah, she's Queen of Hearts. But anyway, <laughs> uh, and I don't have these guys on this page, and I don't have Woody. I'm pretty sure I don't have Woody. But, yeah. But anyway, um, if you are doing the Disney 100 book, I'm doing the Disney 100 book, and I still need a lot of characters. I have a lot of stuff to trade. So, yeah. And then I am doing a... Road to 500 challenge where I am posting a canvas on each of the three platforms. Let's go ahead and put all this together. And this is the TikTok diamond painting that I'm working on. So I separated each of the diamond paintings into nine sections. I put these cute little stickers on and then I'm using a, a spinner wheel app to kind of decide which section I'm gonna work on. So this is the first two sections that have happened on TikTok. If you're interested in seeing those, the kid up video for this and the first two sections are posted on TikTok already. Uh, yeah, the link to it is in the description. I'm pretty sure it should work. Anyway, but I kept everything color coded so that I would easily be able to tell which kit was with which. So like this one is very predominantly green. So I stuck with a green. Everything's green. <laughs> it's easy to tell it that it's the TikTok one. But I do kind of think that TikTok got the short end of the stick out of the three canvases. I don't think this image is as clear or easy to see as the other two but it still looks really nice. Like when you're looking at it through this, like through the camera, it looks pretty nice. But when I'm looking up, at, I'm looking at it like really close, you know, like it's not as easy to see. I'm seeing that. So, you know, and maybe not quite that close in, but definitely to me, it's not as clear. So yeah, but that is the TikTok one for the Road to 500. Um, so far they're killing it. TikTok's killing it. Um, I have already gained 30 followers on TikTok since I started this. So yeah, but I've been posting on TikTok every day. So it kind of makes sense because I'm posting a daily video over there, especially with the, the Disney 100 as well going on there. So it's, yeah. It makes more sense that they're kind of killing it. All right, so the next one up is the YouTube one. So this is the canvas I'm using for the YouTube Road to 500 challenge. Uh, I have managed to post the first two sections on there. And oh, there we go, that's the rest of that stuff. And so as you can see again, this is like predominantly in a red color. I lost the washi tape. I have more washi tape so I can just put it up. I just noticed that like all but one section of washi tape is gone off this canvas. The cats tend to pull it up. They kind of like the way the washi tape feels so they chew on it a little bit. But yeah, so this one, like I said, this one is pretty clear. Like you can see, I think out of the three, this might be the most clear. So, you know, like YouTube won the cards on that one. They got the better looking canvas out of the three. Um, which there we go <laughs> at least in my opinion 
And then, yeah, I stuck everything in, like, this one's the pink, and then everything's kind of, like, in the predominantly reds and pinks kind of range. So I can keep everything together. It's easy. And they got unicorn stickers. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I don't know where I'm at follower-wise. I know I went up by, like, three or four after I started this, but... I haven't checked in a while to see if I've gained anybody new. Because sometimes, like, I think you only, only see them when they have an actual YouTube account that they're using. Because you can actually, like, subscribe to channels without having an actual YouTube account. So, when they have an actual YouTube account or they're using their Google account or whatever it is, then I see the followers but if they're not then you just gaining subscribers you don't see them so I, I think the last time I checked it was at 459 like I'd gone up to 460 and then it went down back down to 459 I think I'm not sure on that though I'll have to keep checking <laughs> but yeah so TikTok I was at the least because I was still in the 300s and I think I'm at 370 now or something. Like, they're getting close. And then YouTube's at, like, 459-ish. Somewhere in that range. But I am trying on these canvases. It's just, I think, four days I have not done hardly anything. Like, that one section on the TikTok one is the only thing I've worked on in four days. Besides the little shorts for the Disney 100. And then this is the Facebook one, and I did kind of choose the colors based upon the colors of, like, you know, YouTube is usually a reddish color, Facebook is a blue color. Uh, TikTok just ended up with the green, because it was the last one, <laughs> so then I just ended up with the green. So this is a Facebook one, and I think it is looking pretty good so far. Something just fell. And this one got dragons. Which is what the pictures are. It's three dragons with three human-like creatures, I guess. I think one's a fairy. This one has wings. And the other one, I think, is just a human. And it's actually, they're from a series of books that I read. I can't remember the names of the books. It's like the Fae or something. And... They're really, really good, really positive books about dragons and people working together and kind of like a companion arc kind of story where the dragons and the people are like, they have that special bond or special connection to each other. It's a, it's a really good series. I really love that series. And I might reread it again after I finish reading the Wolves series that I'm reading right now. Because I'm reading a shifter series right now. So, yeah. And then, they're, they're so they're blue. So Facebook is blue. And But this one, I have not touched. And Facebook was doing really good. I think they're up to 477. I haven't checked in a while. I haven't posted anything in a few days. And I was going to be like, yeah, I'm going to post one section each day. And... And if I post five days in a row, I get to the next level on Facebook because they have like this whole leveling up thing that you can do with your, your posting. But by posting, I made 14 cents. So <laughs> anyway, Facebook is the only one that I have made a meta, any made any money from. There's not much. I'm not saying it's a lot. I haven't even earned a dollar, but... You know, it's the only one they've earned any money on. So that's Facebook. And that is it for what I'm working on <laughs> currently. I haven't done anything else. My Fables, Myths, and Legends series. I am researching the legend that I'm going to be doing next currently. But I haven't done any more research on it recently and there is a lot of information on this legend so I just want to make sure that I get everything down and good and knowledgeable because I I find it really fascinating and I hope that you guys will too 
once you see it, but it is, I am working on it. I have already started writing the story arc for it. Since I've been kind of sticking with this story style with the other two fables that I've done so far. Um, so this one, yeah, <laughs> like I am sticking with it. I've already started writing it. I might rewrite it just to make sure that it's, you know, it's good, it sounds good, it comes across well. But yeah, I found this one really interesting, but there is a lot of information on this because it spans decades. Like, <laughs> So there's a lot of information on this le legend. I mean, not that all like legends or fables, myths and legends don't sp span generations and decades and stuff. It's just that this particular one is based upon actual events that happened and the events themselves actually span decades. I think we're talking from like 1700 BC all the way up through 1995 or something. Like it's it's pretty crazy and it's pretty cool. And I can't wait to like get more in depth into it <laughs> and learn more about it. But like I said, it's very in depth. There's a lot of knowledge for it. But that is it so far. Uh, you can look back through each of them so far. So here is the Facebook one. I know I've only finished like two sections on each canvas. Because quite honestly, like I said, I haven't worked on anything in four days. Like I have barely diamond painted in four days. The entire four days that I worked. Yeah. I have barely done anything. The first day wasn't too bad. That's, you know, like your normal start day. But then after that, this job is, it's very physical. <laughs> so I was exhausted from not getting a lot of sleep and having to do a lot more moving around than I've been doing for the past couple months. But anyway, I like the job. I'm happy where I'm at and I'm glad to be back working and earning money. <laughs> being support for my household again instead of just not. So anyway, there is the Facebook one again. Last look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the YouTube one. And you can see how the picker wheel is choosing different sections. Like on the Facebook one, I think that was the first section, that was the second section. On the YouTube one, that was the first, that was the second. Oh, I think Amazon's here. <laughs> So that's Facebook, TikTok, the Disney 100 book. Let's move those out of the way. And my image for March canvas. So I'll finish up with this one. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.